Hi everyone, good morning or good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in the world. So today I'm going to review my book tote. This is the medium size Christian Dior book tote in like a special edition. I forgot what it's called, but I'm gonna write it down so that I don't mispronounce it. But yeah, it's so beautiful. It's not the usual Twadiji pattern, which is like the tiger and all the animals. This is more like a star symbol and because you know christian dior is quite superstitious and i do believe in good luck as well so yeah there you go so i've had this bag since november so it's now end of february so that would be about three month review of the this is the medium size book tote because they have the mini the small the medium and then the large now it is quite massive like it it definitely sticks out but yeah, I'm just going to discuss um, what I think about the bag and would I repurchase the bag again, um, pros and as well as cons. So on the positive note, because we always love to start on the positive, is that this pattern is so gorgeous. Like I've seen this bag so many times, but this is the pattern that drawn me into like purchasing the bag because I love it. And it says there, um, there's also a V sign here that says Christian Dior and then the front. I'm just going to remove the um, contents of the bag so that um, I guess I can show you. But the attention to details and the embroidery is so, it's, it's amazing. It looks so good. So it is just, it's all canvas. So there's just a piece of like leather tab inside i don't know if you can see but it is quite a structured bag uh and it is like like nice blue and like sort of like yeah it's like a navy a dark darker blue color and white so i definitely need the handles are also like patterns and then of like flowers and plants but this bit here is white so you gotta be careful that's why i've put like a twilly and I thought this orange, like Hermes, totally matches with the bag. So that's why I've put it there. Um, so the pro, pros, it's beautiful. It looks so gorgeous. It's quite unique. Like I've only seen one girl in Singapore who had the same similar like embroidery because it's quite a newer edition. I think it was launched November, end of November or something. So it's it's quite new, this... this um, this infinity style like massive star and but the inside of the bag it's just like you know it's just all canvas so i've actu i actually have an organizer and i just bought it at etsy so it's just quite a basic organizer like so and this is where i keep most of my things now it is very good for travel because it fits like a lot so you can basically just like any totes you can dump things inside and then this is my luggage here, my base luggage. And it sits perfectly with all the stuff inside there. Now with the 13 inch um, laptop, it does fit quite easily. Like you just fit it on the side, on the side of the bag. And then you can even place the organizer in there. Um, so I've used this bag quite a bit because I went on a holiday for a few for like six weeks or so and we went to the beach and i've used this at the beach and i did notice like because i put the twilly first here because i don't really at first i didn't like the twilly that i have so i've just put it at the back and then um yeah it is a bit it's not too bad you might think it gets dirty real quick but it doesn't i mean i do take care of my bags because again they're pricey and plus you know, you, you kind of, I, even if it's not, you have to take care of your things. It's just, yeah. So I normally put it like so. But whenever um, I put it on, that's the pros. It's beautiful. It is very, I love it. I just love it. Um, there's actually more cons than pros. But still, I love the bag. So, you know, I don't regret buying or purchasing the bag. So the cons is basically it's just one open tote. There's no leather lining or anything. So you, you do need an organizer just to keep the bag clean, as you can see. 
um, I would highly suggest an organizer. But in when I went on the holiday, I didn't have the organizer, but still I kept the bag clean. I just made sure that all my stuff is like in small pouches. Um, yeah, and to make sure that there was no liquid. I still put like my sunscreen because I was at the beach. But yeah, it, as long as your sunscreen has a lid and you know, it's quite secure. So I don't really bother with it. But yeah, I would highly, highly, um, I love this bag dearly so the cons is that yeah aside from it just being an open tote one of the con is uh, actually it sticks out like if you see you know it sticks out so you gotta be aware of your surroundings because you don't want people bumping into you and because of the color i chose it has like white white and blue i have to be quite careful with my coffee when i'm drinking coffee i am so aware of my bag and i i literally and whenever i put my bag because of the bottom it's white whenever i put my bag on the surface normally i have a scarf i left it in the car but normally i'll put like a scarf underneath it just to protect it and i did use it as a a hand carry and at the in the plane and i didn't have any i don't know i didn't put it on top on top i i did actually on the way from new zealand to philippines i've put it on the um what they call that like the cubicle up top like where you keep your bags but my bag was the only one luckily on that type of shelf so that was fine but when i flew home i just kept it underneath the seat and I just made sure that I had something, you know, covering it. Like I was using the dust bag actually to cover the bag so that if my foot accidentally comes across it, it's going to be on the dust bag and not the actual bag itself. So it does fit on the, on a, you know, in an airplane, like underneath in front of you. So you can definitely, but it is high maintenance. I do put like something underneath the base, but I guess if you have the normal, um, Christian Dior um, pattern that's very common that's like blue I think it would be easier for the maintenance because it doesn't have any white so it would be so if you're really wanting a low maintenance um, book tote I would suggest that the medium size is really good for traveling and also it's like a hand carry um, yeah you just have to make sure that it's darker but if you don't mind you know, putting like the dust, bringing the, the dust bag with you and then just making sure that the bottom is well protected. You see, mine is still very, very clean. It doesn't actually get dirty that quick. I don't know why this type of canvas, but I mean, it's not dirty at all. And I've used this at the beach, like walking around on the beach front with it. And then, but I didn't use it in the swimming pool or anything. So yeah, I've carried the bag quite heaps. And even on our holiday here in Queenstown, I just put this, like all my, you know, as I catch, like everything is in there. Like, as you can see, I've got my dry shampoo in here. My, like, my perfume is in there. So, because I do have a bag liner now, so that's a bit easier. But if you don't, it, it's not necessary. Like, you can just, you know, make sure that everything is in pouches. But if you're like me, I just want to, throw stuff in there then that is the easiest and the laptop and also a 13 inch macbook pro as i've heard fits really well you just have to put it on the side and then it will be like so so yeah i mean i love the pattern i love the bag would i carry it all day long i don't think so because i'm not really so this normally just, I use it at the beach. I've walked around with it once here on our four day trip here in Queenstown. Um, I normally like, I mean, if you're a top handle person, then that's good. Cause as you can see, I can top handle it easily and I can also put it underneath, but I don't, I wouldn't rec, yeah, I wouldn't like, I don't like that. You know why? Because like I wear deodorant and I'm scared is going to transfer into the bag of yours if you have like sweaty armpits <laughs> you know when it's quite hot like a few days here now like it was quite hot so i normally wouldn't advise that not unless you really need to so i'm normally so if you're not a top handle or crook of the arm type of gal because it does get quite heavy it depends on what you put but you know when i'm walking around for this and plus 
cons again is it sticks out from your body so you have to be careful when moving around i'm very conscious like people bumping into me so i try to really like you know situate my bag in such a way that i don't accidentally bump or like you know like stick makeup and stuff like that because it is very white and i make sure that i wash my hands after i put makeup on just to make sure that it doesn't transfer on the handles but i did hear recently that you can actually change the handles and you just have to pay for a fee at christian dior so that's quite good to know but yeah i love this twilly i mean would you it's not an everyday bag because it's quite flashy like the word is out there i mean you can yeah i haven't you can actually like embroider your name in there but i don't want to i just i don't feel that the world needs to see what my name is you know so yeah so i love i love the bag um i haven't gotten my cosper wear but i've i have used this a couple of times maybe more than i would say more than 20 times so in the span of three months so that's quite a long time so yeah so let me know what you think this is my medium sized book tote it fits a lot it is you know you can dump things in there it fits underneath the seat of in front of you but you just have to be careful when you're in the plane um, I do get a bit of paranoid, but I still would take it on the next flight, on the next holiday because it's so beautiful. And um, yeah, it's not an everyday book tote, but I love looking at it. And I am, um, yeah, they say that there's an issue recently, like if the bag is like old or like two years, like there's some, um, you know, the glue here comes out, but I still don't have that problem. I don't think I will. But we shall see. But so far, so good. So yeah, that's my um, pros and cons and three-month review of the medium-sized book tote.